Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Terry. And I'm David Crockett, hero of the Alamo. And we're... Escaping, Escaping the Empty Nest. Hi, and welcome back. This is part two in our series from San Antonio, Texas. In part one, we visited the mission south of San Antonio, and today... We are here in downtown San Antonio, which means we're here to see the Alamo. In the past, artifacts could be seen in the main chapel, but those have been moved now to a display hall that's accessible by purchasing an audio tour called Victory or Death. Uh, This has to be booked ahead of time because it sells out quickly, but that means the actual shrine is almost completely empty now, so there isn't much to see inside. Once you get inside the exhibit hall, you'll see actual artifacts from the Battle of the Alamo several dozen personal items that belong to participants whose names you probably know, and just a couple of reproductions like these uniforms. A great deal of the exhibition came from a surprising source, Bill Collins. Yes, the Genesis lead singer and drummer, well-known British rock star, donated more than 400 pieces to the General Land Office of Texas. Some of the collection's authenticity has been questioned, but they only display the items that have been authenticated. One of our favorite parts on the entire Alamo grounds is the Wall of History. It's just basically a timeline that covers the history of the area from the early 1700s to the present day. It's kind of off in a corner, so it's easy to overlook, but it's definitely worth checking out. One thing that this last visit that we saw that I didn't remember seeing before was the representation of Alamo heroes that are in bronze sculptures. We found out that those were put in place in 2019. So you'll see many famous figures at the time, including politicians and frontiersman Davy Crockett, with his famous coonskin cap, of course, Lieutenant Colonel William Barrett Travis, who wrote the famous victory or death letter that was sent out with hopes of rallying more troops. That didn't happen, but the letter did motivate the Texan army in the future battles on the road to independence. Pioneer and frontiersman James Bowie, who of course is shown with his famous knife. John Smith, who was the last courier that left the Alamo alive and didn't make it back in time to participate in the Battle of the Alamo, but he did participate in the Battle of San Jacinto. Susanna Dickinson and her daughter Angelina are shown. Susanna was set free by the Mexican army after the battle to spread the word of what had happened at the Alamo. Right now, there is a lot of construction work around the Alamo. Uh, There was a plan in place for a $450 million facelift for the Alamo grounds, but most of that plan was put on hold due to pushback from several factions. There is a plan in place to open a new exhibit hall for artifacts located on the east side of the Alamo grounds and that should be ready to be opened by the summer of 2024. We hope you found this helpful. Please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. Remember, never stop dating your spouse and having adventures with them. So get out there and see the world while you still can. We want to thank you all for joining us on our travels, and bye Bye for for now. now.